morning, love beings. Welcome to another uh, beautiful day and anticipation as we have many astrological events and Mayan celebrations coming up here. We would like to also let you know that there will be no videos or updates uh, from July 25th to the 29th. We have been asked to go into ceremony at a sacred site uh, for those days, so we will not be on the internet or making videos. So <clears throat> we'll probably have a little more videos, some more videos come out before um, we go off into ceremony. So you can anticipate those. We love you unconditionally. Mwah. Lots of things happening, loves. The Galactic Free Press Update. Divine intervention has been activated. Bringing humanity home. Energy and event update. With love from the Galactic Center. The real news and the whole truth. Greetings, love beings. When we began July, we shared the energies would be intense and we have not been let down. We have just went through a huge amount of energy, which will stir things up, so to speak, even more than they are already, with more intense energies incoming. These next two weeks are going to be exciting movement for the light and a huge victory for love on planet Earth, Equal Heart. More exciting energy is indeed on the way as we enter the third supermoon in Aquarius, the day out of time, the Lion's Gate opens, and we begin the new planetary cycle. Major shifting is underway. Truth is being revealed, and nothing can stop this momentum. As we have shared in previous updates, the signs are everywhere, and an intense vibrational upgrade is occurring. Quoted from Jim, Aquarius full moon, July 22nd, 2013, unmask the lies. The chance to find the truth is everywhere. Most of what has been created in the world is not what it seems. End of quote. What is happening on this planet is truly unprecedented. Light groups who are carrying the activation codes for the vortexes are going into position, literally, to lighten it all up, meaning lights on. Divine intervention has been activated. The 13th Stargate and a unique solar opening to the soul of Mother Earth Equal Heart and all of humanity is being activated July 29th by divine decree. This is along with all the vortex points across the planet. What this means is all is a go. Many will be welcomed home into 5D. Quoted from Aluna Joy. After observing and living many months into 2012, I have come to the realization that this time we are in is so much bigger than we can realize in this moment. In the future, this time will be a historical marker that we'll, we will always refer to. We will think in terms of before 2012 and after 2012, much like we think of life on Earth as B.C. and A.D., before Christ and after Christ. Only now, this reference will be evolved to include humanity and not just a singular entity. We will think in terms of before the Unified One, a.k.a. duality, and after the Unified One, the Christ Collective Consciousness. The Star Elders wanted you to know the magnitude of this fact. A new planet is being made ready for us. <clears throat> the part of us that just feels just plain frizzed out and gone is in fact already in the next world helping with the construction. Along with <clears throat> with the huge army of heavenly light family. Our wildest dreams, visions, and beyond are currently being manifested there. The star elders wanted you to know the magnitude of this fact as well. In fact, just as the Maya had predicted, 2013, by its very powerful effect, 
it has had on humanity. End of quote. And quoted from Joseph, Solar Merkaba gives the potential for a universal ride. Woohoo! End of quote. And quoted from Dana Merkik. Hallelujah for July. Yes, we've still got a long way to go, but something major has shifted this month. We have been waiting this year for something to look and feel drastically different, for some sort of big sign that, yes, we are in a completely new evolutionary cycle. We've seen the global protests in multiple countries and thought, hmm, yes. Yes, this is a good sign. We're witnessing a stream of whistleblowers, truth revealers, and all kinds of positive change for humanity. Movements gaining momentum, rapidly increasing millions of people's awareness. Yet even though we are seeing all of this, really, we've all been waiting for something to feel drastically different. It doesn't matter what you read, hear, or even, even see. For anything to really click within, we have to feel it as our own truth. It's as if we've all been programmed, and with it, it's happened, or it's happening switch, whatever it is, and I think it is so much bigger and greater than we can possibly consciously perceive right now. Instinctively, we'd all just know when this switch clicked to green, it's a go. AKA Houston Mission Control Style. Last month we spoke about the car wash analogy, being in that little vehicle cubicle, going through the wash rinse dry cycle over and over again. Finally, finally at the beginning of July, the light went to green, and oh my godfather, it actually stayed green. The switch clicked, and so many of us could feel it. We may not have known exactly what happened, but from all the comments that poured in for my posts that weekend, everyone felt a lightness and a happiness for no particular reason. We started to pull out of those cubicles, and I'm getting this vision now of all of us thinking, quick, let's get as many of us as possible until the sh doors shut again. But here we are, mid-July, and the doors are still open. This is unprecedented for anyone who has been following the energy waves of not only this year, but the years and years leading up to this time. We've had openings before, sure, yet to have an opening that is this clear, this large, carrying this number of people through to another higher dimension, and to be staying open for this long, unprecedented. Just a note. We are going up to a higher dimension. We are still here in our physical bodies, on this planet Earth. We are not being beamed up anywhere, a.k.a. the rapture. The planet is moving into a higher dimension, and we are going with her. This is a vibrational upgrade, just like your television went from analog to digital. If anything, our shift is making us feel more connected to Earth, and not less. Just less, or not at all, connected to old dramas and old ways of being here. We are feeling more <clears throat> and more love and compassion for Mother Earth and all on her. The Grand Trine is affecting us the whole of this month, and I keep receiving the message that this isn't a contained astrological event that is only effective for this period. They are showing it to me more as a portal, an opening allowing us to gain access to things we might put in the magic and miracles category, not just this month, but from now on, into the coming months and years. Be open to the fact that magic and miracles can and do occur. Ask for guidance. Tell the universe you are ready. Tell yourself you are ready for your next level. A new template a new potential, a new paradigm has opened, which will increasingly see us experiencing and creating things we'd formerly think of as fairy tales or impossible as the new normal.
On July 22nd, we have a full moon at zero degrees Aquarius, and this feels very significant. Zero degrees of any sign is considered a powerful point. The first 2,000 years of this new 26,000-year cycle is renowned for being the age of Aquarius, a sign that is commonly thought of as being the water bearer, but in an informative comment um, from my Facebook page from Ron Laswell of astrochakras.com, let us know that Aquarius, in fact, represents a downpouring of cosmic energy, which makes so much sense in light of the foundation of this new age. It makes sense, too, with the visions associated with these times of great wa waves all over the earth. They are waves of higher frequency energy. Then, on July 29th, we have an Earth Grand Trine featuring the Moon in Taurus, Venus in Virgo, and Pluto in Capricorn. Nine degrees for each, if you know your chart. This is exciting to astrologers because it merges with the Water Grand Trine to form a Star of David. Now, a three-dimensional Star of David is a Merkaba, which is felt by some to be the shape of our light body vehicle, your soul. If you are unfamiliar with the Merkaba, you can picture a pyramid facing up with an upside-down pyramid coming down through it. This represents the merging of heaven and earth to bring the energies of heaven or the higher dimensions down to earth and for earth to embody the higher energies of the higher dimensions. So for the whole of July, we have a series of astrological happenings supporting our shift into a very new level of divine manifestation, helping us to bring in and create our highest potential right here on earth. We can expect to see a continuation of people power groups no longer willing to accept unethical actions and decisions of governments, corporations, and systems. It may seem that chaos is reigning, but this is partly due to the fact that we are becoming more and more aware now of so much that has been going on for a long time, and partly due to the fact that awareness of something triggers a fight or flight mentality in anything that has depended on lack of awareness for its survival. That which it isn't a match for the new, higher vibrations, has to collapse or transform. But some things, people, and systems will go to one of these two destinations, kicking and screaming first. We've all had kicking and screaming moments, and many of us will continue to have these sometimes, even when life is trying to expand us into a greater version of ourselves, or you could say, especially when. It can be frustrating and scary to see governments tightening the reins of control the more they see people awakening, but it helps to remember, oh, okay. This is what happens to me when a part of me awakens and another part of me feels threatened by that, not wanting to leave its comfort zone. By all means, do what you feel to do. So, awareness is not, is not a suggestion to become passive as things unfold. Rather, it is a place from which you can respond consciously in whatever way feels best <clears throat> and right for you. There is a tremendous amount of fear loss of power occurring everywhere now and we can feel that with the tightening of energy when one source of power comes from power over others that is not authentic power at all and so what is being lost was not ours to have in the first place when we are in that category of course this old power game that has been playing on the earth plane is a two-way street and power <clears throat> had to be handed over by someone in order for it to be used by others. Some people are claiming their power back with both arms. Others are flailing around in panic, throwing it back like it's a hot potato. Lack of power can be a comfort zone, as it also comes with no need for self-responsibility. So, we are seeing this balancing thing happening with personal power whether we're within ourselves 
in our relationships or between governments or corporations and the people. We're also seeing the conflict and chaos that is ensuing where power isn't ready to be handed over or ready to be owned and received. To the best of our ability, we need to be conscious now of what role we are playing. Wishing you a powerful July. It's certainly to be one of those months that you can look back on and think, wow, that was a real, real turning point for me this year. End of quote. And quoted from Wave Rider. The basic problem right now on the planet is this. The vast majority of the human population still seems unable to just be in the moment called now and live from there. My fondest hope is that you reading this and listening to this and ideally the rest of humanity quickly join us here on the other side of the rainbow bridge to dwell in the sacred land which was promised to us long, long, long ago. Right here and now, in this momentous calendar year of 2013, it appears and it feels like we are being gently and lovingly summoned back home. Weary travelers trudging through alien wilderness, tired and confused by our protracted journey that has lasted so long now that we've completely forgotten why we departed in the first place. We finally spot the beckoning light of a nighttime campfire in a nearby forest clearing. The flames leap and dance to greet us as we approach, inviting us joyfully to return to its ancient circle of warmth, comfort, and camaraderie, offering the rest and, and succor we long for so long desperately after our horribly exhausting journey into the previously uncharted wilds of God's material creation. So, who's got the marshmallows? End of quote. The original core team of beings are coming together to ignite the first light city on planet Earth equal heart. They are not only physically accomplishing this, but also in their respectful places across the planet Earth equal heart as they anchor in love returning and the family of heaven and the family of Earth become one, a family of one. After a journey spanning 19 billion years, it's all happening now as decreed. The magnitude of what is actually unfolding on this planet is going to become very clear for those with eyes to see and hearts to feel. Truly, what many thought to be impossible just a few years ago are changing their tune to see that, in fact, all things are possible and a complete planetary awakening as decreed by love and Mother Earth Equal Heart is underway on the planet and is truly becoming apparent. Quoted from KP's blog and mission. Star beings are presenting themselves quite publicly at the moment. Those with higher eyes will recognize them instantly. Energies upon planet Earth are sufficiently raised to allow and encourage such beings to appear in public, even though their star beingness is not stated in words. Current planetary consciousness energies are aligned with full disclosure of all that was hidden and full disclosure of all that is here. Once the energies are aligned, they form a grid which brings the higher structures into physical manifestation. <clears throat> it feels as if all is ready. End of quote. We, <clears throat> we anticipate huge movement in these next two weeks, which will also intensify the energies on the higher grid. This exciting energy will expand through August and into September and beyond. It's only going to get better and grander from here for those who are flowing in the oneness energies. Quoted from Wave Rider, soon, very soon now, 
the masses of previously uninformed humanity shall be presented with lots of truly fantastic, joyful revelations that will come flooding in from all directions. End of quote. Currently, the 5D frequencies are putting intense pressure on the denser energies. We share this each time in our messages so that you can clearly see the illusion simply cannot withstand the amount of truth and love on this planet and the power it holds. This will only increase intensely. This is breaking through the old matrix as divine intelligence energy overrides and thus dissolves all energies which are not in alignment with the pure consciousness energy of the unified field of love. Much is now happening as a result. This will appear as chaos for some. However, this is assisting us in clearing the space for some very, very intense energies to arrive and exciting. Quoted from Marilyn Rathley from the Arcturian Group. All is proceeding according, according to plan, so try not to accept appearances that say nothing is happening. Any concept still held as what the change must look like will simply result in doubt and confusion. Some changes will appear as expected, but others will not. Much is taking place on levels you cannot see with your human eyes especially if you're expecting to see it through popular media. Chaos is a sign of great energy release and change. Allow the process to unfold while staying in the highest light and truth you know and sending light to the planet. This is all about moving beyond duality and into the realization that all is one. And it begins within the heart unfolding within an individual's who have been on a spiritual path for many years, as well as within those who have never before giving, given any thought to living differently. Earth is a difficult place to evolve because it continues to resonate with an energy of duality and separation, which is what you are now changing. You are the brave souls who have chosen to evolve on and assist Earth in this powerful, energetic time. Signs of change can be seen in the, cha in the changes so many of you are experiencing in your bodies, your feelings, your work, and your relationships. All signs that the old energy is dissolving and no longer resonates with you. There are many from other star systems and higher dimensions observing as you bring in more and more and more light in spite of appearances. You are examples of living light while still in physical bodies and you're doing a fine job. The higher frequency energies now pouring onto the earth are also being felt by those who have no awareness of what is actually taking place, often resulting a general sense of non-specific fear and confusion within them. As a result, these unaware ones may act out in ways that may cause difficulties for family and friends around them. Offer guidance if these dear ones are receptive or simply send light when they are not. Always know that every soul has a higher self and guides and you are under no obligation to save the world other than enjoy your own journey of enlightenment, which in turn will manifest in the outer. Lifting all, <clears throat> all who are receptive and bringing in mere, more light, this is how you change the planet. End of quote. As we shared, July was going to be an intense acceleration, and the light and truth got the go-ahead to go viral. With these energies supporting the truth, this will begin spreading like wildfire. Love is indeed on this planet to stay. The light is ready to step forward on planet Earth equal heart and into physical manifestation, and indeed this process is well underway. The new Earth is manifesting. The energetic space is being cleared at this time, 
and will open up for an unprecedented amount of light to arrive for this planet. Quoted from Wave Rider, the new earth awaits us. She's emerging right now. Just got to ignore those pesky distractions. We have lots of help in this venture, as true masters abound for those just waking up to the trickery of ages. Lots of assistance can easily be found if we hold fast to the truth, our new reality, divinity rising. The distractors can't sway us from manifesting now the golden age. So buckle up, people. The great transition has begun as we leave all distractions behind. And dive into the fun. End of quote. The light is going viral. The grid is ready and prepared for everyone to walk through. The next evolutionary cycle is moving up. Decreed by heaven, love is here to stay. All energies are preparing for an unprecedented event. The family of heaven and the family of earth are preparing to combine, creating an intense amount of light on planet earth equal heart and activating all vortexes. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet earth equal heart. Remember, loves, we are not in a time linear schedule. We are in a divine one. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. Just be present and follow the synchronistic events. And transmission and all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, humanity's earth allies, the company of heaven, and the first contact ground crew team. We are here. Love is manifesting. Yeehaw. Love you so.